Hi, I'm JD. Today we're going to do a system of equations. So if you would, uh, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, so by this time, hopefully, you worked out the problem. And what did you use? Did you use uh, elimination or what's called the addition method? Or did you use substitution? Now, you probably, it, it's kind of up to you on this. No matter what you do, you're going to get the same answer, no matter which method you do use. However, when you look at this, y is already by itself. So since y is already by itself, that gives rise to opportunity, and that opportunity is substitution, because the y is already isolated. So what you can do is take this equation and plug it into the first one. When you do that, you have x plus, and you're replacing the y with 2x. Right. So you replace it with 2x. Place it in there. 2x equals, yeah, 12. And so what are you going to do next? Yeah, you just add like terms. What's x plus 2x? Right, 3x. And that's going to equal 12. What are you going to do next? Yeah, the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So you're going to divide both sides by 3. So x equals what? Yeah, x equals 4. Now, on top of that, you know that x equals 4. Now you're going to you can really just plug this into either this equation or this equation. It doesn't really matter. You're still going to get the same answer. But what I would do is plug it into the one that's already solved for the other variable. So you have y equals 2, and you're replacing the x with 4. Right, because you just found it. And so what's 2 times 4? 8. So y equals 8. That's right. So your solution is a point because you have two lines, and when they intersect, they form a point. Right. And so your x-coordinate is 4, and your y-coordinate is 8. And that is your solution.